Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, in this video, I'm going to show you how to realize, uh, how to tell uh, what is the problem with the Microtik. If the Microtik, uh, the CPU usage is very high and you don't know how to solve it, I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. In this case, I have a perfect example that someone is trying to hack the router and without some rules, you will see that the CPU usage is very high and when it's very high, oh, you're going to have the following problem. You're going to see that maybe the latency is very high, uh, the speed is very low, and your I mean your browsing and is everything is very slow and is is very bad. So uh, also maybe you you want to try to use the Microtik and try to s do some changes or something like that. And the Microtik is working slow and you don't know what's going on. So I'm going to show you right away. For inst for instance, um, I'm going to change the camera so you can see here. Uh, we have the Microtik, uh, we, as you can see here, we have a 6%, 4%, 7%, okay, it's, it's normal, about normal. If you open up a uh, terminal and you ping, uh, for, ex for example, uh, Google 8.8.8, uh, .8 .8, you will see, okay, it's great, uh, it's 47, 50 milliseconds, I mean, it's, it's normal, it's, it's great, it's wonderful. And you're thinking, oh, okay, that is wonderful, but I'm going to show you the problem, how you can solve this issue. So here uh, I open up uh, another terminal. If you type tool, I mean sl slash tool profile, enter, and you will see. So here you will see all the detail uh, about the usage of the CPU. Uh, and this uh, thing on the right, yeah, you see the total, that's it, but you don't know wh what else is going on. So here you can see everything. So as uh, you can see, uh, here I have a few rules. In this case, I'm going to disable this one. As you can see, I have like four megabytes of uh, dropped uh, packages. So here, uh, the drop, uh, here, as you can see, I have 400 megabytes of uh, drop a packet. Um, here I'm going to disable. As soon as I disable, you will see it will uh, spike to 71, 90. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. And um, as you can see here, uh, the um, uh, the milliseconds. I mean, the latency is is. I mean, it's very high as well. 200, 500, sometimes. 900 or 800 so it's crazy crazy so very very high so if you have that problem you say wow what's going on here i mean i mean what's wrong and uh, you don't know okay if you use this um command that i just said tool i mean slash tool uh, space profile and you you will see here what i mean what is what's wrong with it so if you if you see we're going to search for DNS, yep, yeah, uh, here is a DNS, as you can see, is 50%, 45%, 71%, so it's crazy. Here is very, very high. So I know that the problem is the DNS, so what I have to do is something, I have to set up a rule. So I'm going to show you, I mean, if I enable the rule, of course, uh, everything will be, uh, it will, everything will back uh, go back to normal. So here, as you can see, 8%. Uh, and everything else uh, is, is just fine. So I'm going to show you how uh, I fix this. So I, uh, when you click on plus here on the left, um, uh, where it says a chain, you set input, and then on um, protocol UDP, and then here you're going to choose 53, and you're going to choose the Ethernet interface, in this case is Ethernet 1, and then you go here where it says action and then it will drop. So what it means is everything that is coming in uh, from the input uh, from the Ethernet one or for, from the interface uh, one, yeah, uh, is going to be dropped automatically. So that way uh, 
is how you prevent uh, any any attack at least for, from that uh, uh, part you can do another things also as well if you if you think that you are having some uh, attacks uh, for something else like i said you, you can click on log and then log you will see everything every uh, login failure so on the ip where it came from uh, and everything else also you can uh, disable the services so let's say you go here services and then in this case i disable I'll, i'm going to enable so you can see it as well so the ftp ssh telnet and everything else so uh, the only way I, I i mean the only thing i care is just to be able to enter on this device using a uh, winbox and I, I could disable the api and, and everything else but i'm going to just uh, leave it like that so winbox of course because i'm using uh, team viewer right now to access uh, the other location so that way uh, is how i can access um, there is no other way if i am outside and i want to access uh, from outside using winbox um, yes, that is an, a, another option. But uh, what I'm saying is, if you want to SSH the the uh, MicroTik, if you want to uh, log in th that way, you will not be able because I just disabled it like that. But I mean, the more the more you protect it, the better. So that is one of the the things. So I hope this video was useful. Useful. If you want classes about MicroTik or you want to hire me to help you. With the microtech, I'll leave everything in the comment in the section below. Remember, if you go to Gabak USA, I'm going to leave on one of these ends uh, my logo with my um, website. Uh, you can call me, email me, or whatever. I'll be glad to, to help you. So I see you in the next class. Remember, subscribe, click on like, and see you soon. Bye.